threat exists or not, uh, this is a very real event, right? Two individuals reported hearing a shot. We begin with breaking news this morning. You just heard from the Colonel of Wright-Patterson Air Force Base. A lockdown now lifted and an all clear issued at Wright-Patterson after reports of sh a shot fired at the facility. Good morning and welcome. I'm Elise Coulter. And I'm Nathan Edwards live at Wright-Patterson Air Force Base this morning where the gates are back open and personnel is expected to arrive to work any moment now. And we want to show you a map of the National Air and Space Intelligence Center, also known as NASIC. Here it is right here. This is where it all took place last night. But we begin our live team coverage this morning at gate 12A. Nathan. At least this morning, there is a collective sigh of relief here at the bases. Bork is back to normal. It's business as usual this morning. You take a look behind me. You can see the gates are relatively calm right now, but investigators are still at this hour looking closely into what happened. Now, in a news conference that just wrapped up a few hours ago, the base commander confirming what happened shortly after 9 o'clock last night. He says two people went to the front desk of the NASIC building reporting that they heard one gunshot. Now, at that point, a lockdown put into place. The giant voice made an announcement. Take a listen. Now the NASIC building's three floors and 850 square feet with many secure spaces. First responders swept NASIC twice. Now after four tense hours, the all clear was given. Colonel Patrick Miller started his briefing just after two this morning. We got all individuals out of the National Air and Space Intelligence Center. Everybody is safe, no injuries. As you can imagine, in an event like this, your heart starts beating fast. Uh, you're wondering what's going on. Lots of anxiety, lots of emotion. Uh, but I'm super proud of both the folks that had hunkered down uh, inside the National Air and Space Intelligence Center, as well as those defenders and first responders that got out there and swept to make sure everything, everybody was safe. Now, as you can imagine, this was a very fluid situation and throughout the night, the 88th Air Base Wing updating the community by tweeting several updates. We want to show those to you. The first sent at 10.02 last night saying, we're told emergency responders are responding to an active shooter in Area A of the National Air and Space Intelligence Center. Now, just before midnight, they tweeted again saying, we understand there are concerns and questions. Our first priority is to protect our people. All of our military and civilian employees are trained to quickly assess the situation and take appropriate action. Two more tweets after that, just saying that they're still conducting their searches. And then the all clear was given at around 1.45 last night.